My name is Vincent Stemmler. I'm an artist and art educator. So clay to me is like a material that's like super diverse and you can almost make anything out of it to an extent. But I make functional objects. I make objects that reference functional objects. I'm interested and will be in the future making architectural objects, including like molding and brickwork. Um, I also do large scale figurative sculpture and non-representational sculpture work. Clay has really been a medium for me to just kind of experiment and have some kind of place where I'm able to limit myself to because like, I want to experiment with everything and learn how to do every medium, but I know that I don't have enough, there's not enough time in the world for me to do that. So Clay has taught me like a lot of, a lot of patience and it's, it's tempered me pretty well, I'd say. My favorite thing about working with my hands is that it's a, a form of nonverbal communication. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that you can say with words that don't always come across, but if you move into making an object or an image, it opens up a whole another realm of language. Um, I often use the term visual language or tactile language when I'm teaching art or teaching art history, and that's because each artist has their own language, just like every person does. A lot of my work has a lot of uh, different textured surfaces. Sometimes those textured surfaces are things that I've contrived or created myself, but more often than not, they're also textures that I get from the world around me. I might take a walk, I might just use what's around the studio, but a lot of times I'm literally taking slabs of clay and just slapping it on stuff. And that relates to me about the different, the clay itself is going through different experiences um, like we as people do. And those different experiences accumulate to become one cohesive object, just like we go through experiences and it forms who we are. People get mad at me when I say this, but I, I like to make ugly work for the most part. But I, I really like things with a lot of character, things that are, are busted and look like they've had a, had a life have had have had experiences um, that there's a there's a saying like hands to clay like just putting your hands in that clay and, and working through something working through your ideas using it as a a kind of vehicle for your your either positive or negative emotions to go into that's really why I like hand building I had a lot of different people from different backgrounds to help raise me and create who I am thinking about these works, I'm thinking about those experiences and how even though sometimes my personality feels fragmented, my identity feels fragmented, it's actually one solid thing. And for the most part with these pots, even though there's areas where there's parts missing that could still be filled in or ways for you to see inside, for the most part on the inside, they're compressed well enough together to hold together solidly and go through an entire process of being fired, uh, drying out, you know, and then being fired again to 2,345 degrees or higher. Um, and they can still hold together. And for me, that's a certain resilience that Clay has that also represents just kind of trying to figure out who you are as you grow up. Making art for me has always been a way for me to help understand the world and to heal and to have a place of reflection for when I make something without even really thinking about it for what that means to me again. So I may sometimes make an object and then I look at it and then I analyze why did I make that. It's almost like a self-made Rorschach test in a way. It's not always that way but a lot of times it is and sometimes you'll make something and years later, look at it and be like, oh, that's why I made that one particular thing that way. Um, a lot of times it has to do with understanding and healing from trauma, whether that's personal trauma or like societal traumas. But it's a, in the end, it's a, it's a meditative tool and a, yeah, a point of healing, I would say.